Hey guys, what's up? It's Gina coming in and it's a collective haul that we're going to be doing today. And it's just some things that I picked up over time just when I'm out and about. There's not much to shop from around here except for Walmart. So a lot of this stuff is going to come from Walmart and some things will come from uh, when I went to Atlanta and did some shopping there as well. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into this thing, okay? Alright, so the first thing that I purchased was the camera that I'm shooting with. It's a Canon um, HDR, I believe, 600. And it is a review coming up for it shortly. And also, since we're on electronics, I'll go ahead and get this out of the way to... My first tablet is not an iPad or anything like that, but it does what I need it to do. It's called a, a Next Book, and it's by Android, and it has like everything I need on it. I picked up the case as well from Walmart, and the tablet, I believe I picked it up for $79.99, I want to say, and the case was... $12, $13, something like that. Um, also picked up the um, Rock Nudes, the palette um, by Maybelline. I went ahead and picked that up. I had been contemplating on getting it, not getting it because I wasn't really too satisfied with the first one that they came out with. But yeah, that's uh, one that I was <laughs> talked into getting because of YouTube. Anyway, um, let's go over to makeup. Um, let's do that. And I picked up two uh, Revlon foundations. One is the Photo Ready. And it looks like that. And it come. I got this one in Cappuccino. 011 Cappuccino. So, uh, I'm going to try that and I'll of course do a uh, demo on it as well then I picked up the uh, Revlon photo ready the airbrush um, effect and this one I picked up in color um, caramel so I think I'm gonna go back and get a deeper shade since it's starting to warm up now so i'll go back and get the warmer shade in it but i'll do a review on that one as well and also picked up the new maybelline super stay better skin and this one i'm really anxious to try because you guys know we went crazy over the makeup um maybelline the fit me uh, fit me poreless we went crazy over it so <laughs> they gotta step up their game now so it's on and popping we gonna see what it's doing I picked up also the fit me setting and the set and smooth this one I picked up in color 355 and for some reason your girl picked up normal to dry but it's been working um, and we'll see how it's going to hold up in in the summer months. But this is what it looks like. And I think this was the darkest color. It's probably why I picked it up. So, yeah, we'll see how that one works. Um, Maybelline, still rocking Maybelline. And number 655, I picked this up. And it's just a really pretty matte um, nude color. I'll swatch it. And that's what it looks like on the skin. Almost match my nail polish. And so, yeah, we're going to see how this looks on. Of course, I'll do a makeup look with it. And so you can see how that goes. Picked up. Beauty Blender, and I think this was maybe six bucks or something like that. Nothing too expensive. I picked up some e.l.f. brushes. I need to get another 
set of brushes but I went ahead and picked these up so just a C brush for the eyeshadow I picked up an angle brush to put the gel liner and just a small stippling brush I wanted to pick this up for you know setting the uh, under eye powder and let me see this one is contour brush this one is the contour brush for your nose doop, 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 doop. and I needed one of those and then the last one I picked up is just a let me see I think this one is just uh, like a blending. I want to use this one for a blending brush. It's not anything special. It just says eyeshadow brush. So, yep, that's what I picked up uh, from e.l.f. And I love their brushes. They're very durable. Durable! I cannot talk today. And um, I like those. Then I did... Let me see what else. I think that might be it for makeup. I don't know. Let me see. No, I have another lippy. And this one is Maybelline as well. This one is number 690. Really, really pretty red. And uh, let me see. That's the swatch of it. It's really pretty. It's creamy going on to... Um, my hand so hopefully it's just as creamy going on the lips uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. let me see I'm trying to do all the makeup first guys okay this is just some um, pencils um, with this color mates and I picked these up in big lots. So just some some eyeliner, eyebrow pencils. Just wanted to try and see what those how those work. Let's see. Okay, so that's it for oh one more brush. And I picked this up from eBay. So just some online shopping I did as well. And I picked this up. It's the it resembles the artiste makeup brushes. I have used it. I'll I'll do a review on it. Uh if you guys want to see that, just let me know in the comments. When I went to Atlanta, I of course I always go to So Good. Um beauty supply store and I picked up I think I got two of these yeah I got two of these these are the crochet interlocking braids the Havana Mamba twists and I got mine in color 350 so this is what the color looks like and I kind of want this to be my summer color. So we're going to do these. I'm debating if I want to do them in my hair or if I want to just make a wig out of it. So I, I don't know. I'm up in the air with it. And I also got it in color 1B and I got three in the 1B. Okay. Next, we have Kato, and I think I picked up some jewelry from Kato. Um, they have pretty reasonable prices in there. Let me see, what did I spend? I spent $23.43. So, I got a pair of gold earrings because I didn't have like any nice ones uh, for work and so I got these ones for work just a nice cute detail on there and these are $3.99 I 
picked up some just some stones, some cubic zirconia stones. Thought those were really cute. Those $3.99 too. And I saw this necklace that was really cute. I don't have a lot of dainty um, necklaces, so I wanted to start um, picking up some to go in my collection. So I thought that was really cute. This was $3.99 too. And this might be the last piece from Kato's. Yeah, and it's just this gold and black. This part is like leather. It, it's got the feel of the leather and then the metal piece here. This was $5.99 and I thought that was really cute. And from Big Lots, I picked up a pair of uh, Anne Klein earrings in there. And it's just got really pretty gold detailing so I thought that was really cute as well and you guys let me know how this camera is doing um I'm this is my first video with it so I don't know if it looks good how it looking to you guys or anything uh let's go with this this is a store out here called Burks and so I went in there and picked up a couple things on uh, this t-shirt you can never have enough white t-shirts so I picked it up it was uh, $3.88 so I picked that up and this cute little dress really pretty that's so cute It'd be good for the summer for the summertime and it's just um, has the mesh material in between the pattern and a nice little belt that's the belt so it's really cute this was $19.99 Then they had this top, just the back of it, and y'all know how I am. I love little dainty things like this, and I thought that was really pretty and sexy, you know, something to go out to dinner or something like that. So I thought that was really pretty and the color is popping. I love that blue. It's gorgeous. This was really reasonable, I think. Oh, this was $10.99. So that's not too bad on the purse. Um, that's big block. Then while well, I was in Oh, wait a minute. This is some more stuff from Atlanta. I picked up um, another wig cap. And they have some new ones. It has the um, real soft material um, underneath it. This wig that I made, is it has it. Let me see if I can show you real quick. So see right here, it has that really, really soft um, material, which I like uh, because I'm going to try something new, which is to not wear the wig cap, uh, the knee high. I don't want to wear the knee high underneath because I think it's um, messing with my edges. So I'm just trying something to see if it's going to work. Uh, also in So Good, I picked up some Alpha G uh, Serious Care and Protector uh, Curl Lipic. It's a curl definer. And so this is for definition and control for texture hair. 
anti-humidity formula. I didn't know it was for texture hair, but I think I could use it too. So I'm going to try this and see how it works because um, I wore my hair for two weeks um, straight to work and everything. I didn't really like that too much, but that's another video. I'll tell you guys about that later. And then I picked up a big thing of the mixed chicks. I like this a lot. And it's really it's really doing some things really nicely for my hair. So I'm gonna keep rocking with that along with everything else. Uh went to Goodwill and I picked up two jackets in there. This one, black one for work, of course, both of them are. And just nice simple little jacket. Nothing special, but I needed some more because I've been getting rid of stuff and so I needed some um, some more jackets to replace the ones that I gave away. Uh, I gave a lot of clothes away. And this red one, which is really cute. She is so adorable. I like the gold detailing and the buttons. I might see if I can find some gold buttons and replace those with instead of that so I don't know we'll see and then we have the detailing in the back and that's why I said I'll see because that detailing back there we'll see I don't know um online I went online and did some shopping of course and um this site I found is overseas and I'm not going to recommend it because it took forever and a day for my products to come but they had some what I'm gonna call imitation products for Mac and for Lime Crime this is the imitation lippy for uh, candy yum yum and it's supposed to be by Mac it is not Mac uh, because dead giveaway is the container it is not of the quality that Mac has and this is the swatch of Candy Yum Yum. I don't have the authentic MAC Candy Yum Yum. Not yet. I'm working on it. I keep forgetting to get it. It's not that I I can get it. It just, I keep forgetting to get it. <laughs> then um, these I, Lime Crime I don't even want to say they dupes, okay? Imitation. Okay, this is the box before I completely destroy it. But that's the box, and let's see, because this took forever to get to me. Okay, this is a nice loop nude color. So that's the color. That's what it looks like, swatched. Looks like foundation to me, child. Mm. All I have is the lips, lip gloss on now. Let me see. I don't know, y'all. Verdict's still out. Okay. I did try this one because it came the day that I was going to work and this is the this is the color that's what it looks like swatch really pretty right but when it when I put it on and I put it on on top of a I put it on on top of a lip gloss I don't know if that did it or if it's the product itself, but it was really, really tacky when I went like this. And I don't like when things go like that. So, I don't know. I have to come back with a review on that. Especially 
before I start letting y'all know where I got it from and all of that because if it's jacked up, I ain't going to be the one to send you over there. This one, oh, and that color is um, the first one was shroom. That one was shroom. This one is Utopia. So that's Utopia. This one is Pansy. Okay. So <laughs> let's take it out the box and see what it's doing. The boxes are really cute. This one it looks like in the bottom. That's what it looks like on the applicator. Pretty. Goes on really pretty. It's so gorgeous. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That's a gorgeous color, honey. Okay. But again, I don't know how it is to wear this all day. And this is, <laughs> this is Anastasia Liquid Lipstick. Karima is the color. This is the box that it comes in. And I got to get used to this viewfinder. Because I want to go this way and it goes out of frame if I go that way. So. Yep, there you go. Uh, actually, that's the color right there. So let me see. See, even that that shroom. See my lips. Uh -uh. This is the color. It's real pretty. It's like a rose color pink. That's what it looks like. And swatch. Can y'all see that? That's the swatch. So it's like a <laughs> it's like a coral with some red and some pink. And just like bam. See, even when I go bam, my lips hesitate to come apart. I don't like that. I'm gonna still give it the review, okay? Look at my hand, it's all jacked up. Look at my hand. I ain't even stay on that long. Anywho, that's it, y'all. That's it. That's the whole haul. I bought some other stuff, but it's too big to put in. I went ahead and got the Alex drawers and the Lemonon. Uh, table so and I bought some you know decorating stuff but if y'all want a tour I was trying to wait till I got back to Georgia before I did a um, beauty room tour but it's going to be a minute before I can get back so if y'all want a tour of the beauty room let me know in the comment section and I'll do it for you I'm not done yet. I still got some uh, more odds and ends that I need to pick up and put in here before we call it complete. Other than that, I'm off this video, okay? Because y'all know I sit up here and I talk your earballs off. Your earballs? Really, Gina? <laughs> I will talk your ear off. So I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video.
put your comments let your girl know what you think of everything that's that went down in the box you know just tell me don't forget to tell me about the quality of this I'm filming it's nine o'clock it's 9 20 now so let me know how everything look all right I'm out of here and I'll see you in the next video peace out Ha <laughs> ha